watching YouTube and they had this really lovely lady and she has a website called Room to Think and her name is Caroline and she's actually conducting research on how clutter affects physiology. So Google her or you can go to her website called roomtothink.net and she's British and she's doing her master's of science on the topic in applied psychology, I believe. So I saw this video of her and I thought she was brilliant and her website was gorgeous. And one of the things I've been told as an author is I need to have a website, God help me. YouTube is hard enough to learn. Having an Instagram account and remembering to post pictures and prompt uh, followers to come to my YouTube channel, that's hard enough. I can't even imagine doing a website, let alone doing a website as beautiful as hers. So I reached out to her and I said, your website is gorgeous and I love how articulate you were during your interview. She was on an interview on a British channel and I said, um, did you write a book? Do you have a literary agent? Um, I would love to talk to you. And she wrote me immediately and said, I'd love to talk to you as well. I, in fact, let's go for coffee, but I imagine you're in the US and I'm in East London. So um, I'm looking forward to her survey coming out so I can help as well. But till then, let me tell you how this book came along. She actually re said she was reading uh, a book called A Small Island and I looked it up and I, I said okay if she's reading Bill Bryson I'm gonna read Bill, Bill Bryson it's a really nice book I enjoy subject matter like quests in fact that's why I named my book that I called it the quest for the black panty drawer is it's a year of living minimally so I enjoy those kinds of books and so Bill Bryson's quest is to go from the south of England, and I had to write this down. It is from the south of England, from Bognor Regis to the north of England called Cape Wrath. And it, it chronicles all the little towns he visits, all the people he meets, and I wish I could convey that kind of... Sorry, I'm hearing some sort of tornado warning. <laughs> and it's biblical outside, so I just got distracted. So um, the it chronicles his journey from the south of England to the north of England, and um, it doesn't say how long, but that doesn't matter because it just feels like a leisurely journey, and uh, it's really interesting. So I like this book because, like I was saying previously with Andrew's book, a better box and forgotten sometimes it's really good to write read books by good authors he's a good author he conveys um a little bit of political stuff because you end up you know because he is an american he ends up comparing the uk to the us and but he does it with humor and he does it with compassion and he's a grandpa now so there's a little bit of tenderness towards the grandchildren and his own children and he's a married man so you know how his feelings towards his wife so it's really well written and it's a very very understated kind of humor that you will really appreciate so the name of the book is called uh, the road to little dribbling by bill bryson and what else do i want to say he captures the beauty of england um and uh hmm, his sense of humor what else did i miss uh not too much about the food but he does comment about the food and uh, apparently british food is quite delicious and i would agree i like yorkshire pudding so um, read Bill Bryson uh, because he's a great author and he's good at storytelling with humor and intelligence and compassion and that's really nice to see in authors. On the, um, you know, London's Calling uh, note, here's another British author. This is called A Life Less Throwaway by Tara Burton. So I don't buy anything anymore. Um, I wrote a book called The Quest for the Black Panty Drawer, A Year of Living Minimally, and in order to accomplish that, I stopped shopping. Well, guess what? 
I had to go shopping. I really wanted to buy a book and I really wanted to do some research in order to write my book. And so eventually after you stop shopping for a year, you have to start shopping because you lose your tweezers, your clothes have holes in them, your favorite gray shirt is showing signs of wear. And so you have to go shopping and I needed something to show me um, how do you buy ethically and it's so hard it, 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 it's, not, it's like my zero waste quest it's something you just do imperfectly and just hope that you do it somewhat right so the, this book came at a timely uh, event I went to Nova Scotia and I lost my tweezers and in the book one of the ideas she proposes because she actually has the website it's called buy me once so buy tweezers once which tweezers am i talking about tweezerman so if you buy tweezerman's tweezers and i saw that today in cvs they retail for 23 dollars Tweezerman will actually sharpen the tweezers for you according to her book and I thought to myself this is why people buy cheap stuff it's because good stuff is really expensive can you imagine spending $23 on tweezers I, I, has anyone needed to resharpen their tweezers you, you must have some bushy eyebrows and mine are crazy right now and i've never even had to sharpen tweezers but it came at a good time because i do want to buy ethically what was interesting reading her book is how much of her book i wrote uh, or commented on or have spoken to you about on this channel for instance clothing I'm really careful not to shop at certain stores. You know what stores I'm talking about. Um, it usually has a number in it. <laughs> it um, so the reason why is you know where those clothes are made. They're made in Bangladesh, Vietnam, India, China, uh, Guatemala. These are places where you hope that people are getting paid a decent wage and after the factory collapsed on those Bangladeshi women, and I'm in my mind's eye, I picture them as women in a garment factory, I just can't bring myself to buy clothes. I don't know why. I Luckily, I don't need too much because I'm still editing the closet. Even though I only have four pairs of pants for work, I'm still editing the closet and I haven't had to buy anything in two years. And I'm even reluctant to buy anything because I can't be certain that 600 people got hurt or the planet was compromised in some way. Some harsh dye was thrown into some river and children got sick. I can't promise that none of this happened in order for me to wear a pair of jeans that I bought for 1995. I, I can't do that. So I haven't shopped. Did the book help me to become a better shopper? Yes, in the sense that at least now I know. I know Le Creuset will be the kind of pot I can buy and hand down to not my grandchildren because we're kid free, but your grandchildren. I'll give it to your grandkids. Um, so I know that um, disposable razors are awful for the environment and I could use a safety razor and that's actually an option. I just need to research that. Um, but at least it gave me some direction. The book was actually a hard read. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a good reader now. And even it took me time to like, okay, let's, let's just do 10 pages before I fall asleep. But it kind of found, she found her, her rhythm and her swing of things towards the end of the book. And it was a really nice read. Uh, I'll tell you again, it's called buymeonce.com and she's actually creating a movement. And I've said this before because I've heard this before. Don't change your light bulb, change your leaders. And it's becoming more and more apparent now more than ever. If you're listening and if you can vote, please do. Um, the environment is in a major crisis and um, I live 
about an hour south of Flint, Michigan. And if you don't know much about Flint, um, watch Flintopia. I think it's called Flintopia on Netflix. And you learn what we're dealing with here in, this, in uh, where I live. So um, really good book. Just stay with it. it. You will get through the book. It's a, it's a necessary book that we need to read for our time. And I don't know any minimalists who give guidance as well as she does for how to buy ethically, how to buy sustainably. And it's nice to see that. So this is the book. She's British too, just like Bill Bryson. And it's A Life Less Throwaway by Tara Burton. So enjoy. I just finished this book and it is called Love, Style and Light by Garance Dory. I actually looked her up on Instagram and she has a beautiful Instagram feed and she has a really beautiful website as well. This book is like a picture book so I'm just going to show it to you like we're all little kids. Okay, I have some notes that I made for you. Okay. This illustrates her life starting in Corsica to New York and um, it's just beautifully done. Like pictures, her, um, you know, her, her pictures, her sketches, they're just beautifully done. Okay, so I want to show you this picture right here. Okay, there go my notes. Okay, I'm just going to read this to you. My style essentials, okay? A perfectly edited wardrobe can set you free. You will need less and buy better. These are my style essentials, my forever classics on which I build anew every season. They make working, partying, and traveling easier. They define my style, and some of them may come to define yours too. So there she is, and there are these beautiful shoes. So um, beautifully done, love her Instagram page, and I'm actually gonna reach out to her and tell her how much I, it, it was a beautiful book. And um, she's also a, a very friendly, approachable writer, and I didn't mean to cultivate this, but one of the things that people who read my book said, it felt like you were sitting next to me on the sofa. And that meant a lot to me because uh, my book is a personal journey. It's not really a, a recipe book on minimalism. It, it actually tells you little stories of little struggles I've had, and there were many. Um, so I hope you enjoy my book and I hope you enjoy her book. Um, I have to return this to the library tomorrow so I don't get any late fees. But uh, look her up on Instagram as well. It's Garance, G-A-R-A-N-C-E, Dore, D-O-R-E, and that's her Instagram handle. So I thought she was fabulous. Um, highly recommend the book just to have something pretty to look at and beautiful pictures and what life in Corsica was like and coming from France to the U.S. And I love those kinds of stories. So check this out. Thank you for joining me. My name is Christina Gouda, author of The Quest for the Black Panty Drawer, and I hope you re enjoy reading these books as much as I do, and I challenge you to find the element of minimalism in all the books that we just talked about. That includes Bill Bryson as well. So, thank you. Bye.